Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. Today we're going to take a look at Raw Data Update 4.0, the Thundershock map. Uh, this one has a pretty interesting mechanic of a uh, lightning bolt coming down and striking the ground, doing damage, and uh, I'm pretty sure that it also buffs the robots, but I haven't really been able to figure out uh, that part. I know it uh, drops an outline around them, they look like they move faster, and uh, take more damage, but I can't say for sure exactly what effect it has on them. Uh, but here is what it looks like. Alright, so here is the lightning strike effect, and that is what you need to look out for. So if you are standing in that, it will deal a rather large amount of damage to you. We're going to try and throw this guy into lightning strike so you can see what I mean by it empowering them. Hopefully we can get one. I may need to cut to whenever I can land him in the lightning strike. Alright guys, I've been dancing with this guy for quite a few minutes and finally got the lightning strike. You can see that I'm almost dead from one lightning strike. And he's got a nice little outline around him, and he's considerably faster. And if I let him smack me, I don't know if he's doing more damage to me or not. I don't often get hit by these guys, but he doesn't really take more damage. So it might just be a speed boost that they get. I don't know, but you can see that he does get uh, supercharged. That is what you're looking for. Back to the main show. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. We are going to be playing as Bishop. OP Bishop. <clears throat> okay, here we are in the map. This is uh, fairly similar to the crane level, kind of like uh, the crane level and Nuke Fusion had a big uh, vapor exploit and uh, Nuke Fusion had a baby. Um, so uh, enemies will spawn around this ledge here. They'll climb up uh, over the sides and you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, we have two cores to defend. So we've got the blue core and the red core and for some reason they are connected by this power cable that links them and changes its color as it goes. I know it's a neat effect but I don't know what purpose it serves. So we'll get swans out of here, uh, not as frequently though, since it's a pretty short jump to the core from there. We'll get a lot of swans out of these two containers. This, uh, this container will typically go that way towards that core. Uh, that container will go up the other side, up here towards there. And then out of here, and this is where the first mega will come from. Uh, we'll get a Mega out of here, I think, twice, and a Mega out of that container over there once, on normal. Uh, I don't know about hard difficulty, I've not tried this on there. Uh, of the two new maps, this was the most difficult to solo. So my strategy has been to line this area with turrets right here, um, and side by side. Oh, here's the lightning bolt. There we go. Uh, so like a turret here and a turret here and then maybe one in front of them. I've got the shield now, which I will probably place a shield uh, up at the front and hopefully that'll help. Um, that should be able to hold this lane uh, while I'm not here, uh, except for the Mega. I will have to come deal with the Mega at the start of round 30. So you see another lightning bolt. Those get far more frequent as the waves progress. Like, it's relatively calm right now, but during wave 5 you're going to see lightning strike after lightning strike after lightning strike, and it's actually going to be a, become a pain and an issue to try and dodge them. They do quite a bit of damage, as you saw earlier. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Let me set up my turret. I drop a laser here first. Right about here. Okay. All right. 
let's go ahead and start the thing. And one of the things that I found was really important for this one is dropping combat turrets. Uh, you have a maximum uh, credit score of 300 per wave. You can't get more than 300. Uh, so if you hit that, you're, you're just wasting credits and throwing, throwing them away. Um, I, I really recommend it if you can do it, uh, especially with Bishop having two pistols. Um, you can still fire while you're uh, laying a turret, so I would definitely recommend you uh, when you have lulls in combat, and I, I kind of think they provide those lulls to you, um, whereas you sort of have mini waves inside the main phase. Um, and you'll see that, hopefully. I'll be able to knock this out and not make a hole in myself. Here we go. Let's start. So I do not remember where we need to be for what we want. No, over here. Easy. And I'm not going for headshots on purpose because I want more credits. Each shot you land on, the enemy gives you one credit. I forgot that they also climb up from here as well, and that's what that turret is supposed to help protect against. This guy is a pain in the ass. Thank you for the yummy credits. Alright, let's go drop our other laser turret here. Okay. 31. So here I think I need to focus on that over there. If I remember right. I think I also get flying this round, which come out of there. They do seem to break into crawlers a lot more frequently. plasma turret somewhere right here. If they get too close, they will destroy that plasma turret. VIPs are good for money making. You can see how important that those turrets are, keeping those maintained, otherwise I would have taken damage on that. I wouldn't have gotten here in time. Turrets on the other side are doing okay. Need to go check out the bus in a minute. No. Seems like they're doing okay. Let's see. And yeah, I've got 260. Put these guys up. Uh, I think I'm gonna try a shield here instead of the plasma to start and get it in the right place. Try the other side. So the shields are really nice. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to take a look at the shields. Yeah, that looks good. So the outside barrier, um, once it takes a certain amount of damage, will go down. Um, 
but after a while of not taking it, we'll uh, recharge uh, and come back up. If the actual unit takes damage, uh, it will blow up. So just because the shield goes down, uh, it will still recharge and uh, handle itself. Hopefully that guy can shoot through it. I did not think about that. Uh, but then I'll double plasma right here. And this lane should be well taken care of, except for the Mega, which I'm going to have to deal with as soon as I start this. And then rush back over here. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have the credits to do anything else. There. Alright. Now we're good. Wave 3. We start that, and then come over here for the Mega. or 300 credit limit. I did not build soon enough. I should have built while there were still flyers out. Okay, so we've got one plasma here and one laser here. The other side is looking good still. Let me make sure that nothing needs repairs. Okay, that's good. All right. Now this uh, shield, they can still walk through and physically smack them. Uh, it's only gonna protect from projectiles. Right, so we don't have anything down there. Right, sometime during the next one I will try to get a plasma and then a shield over there. That's gonna be 400. And I think the lightning strike does, as you saw there, I think it does disable your towers for a little bit. Alright. Wave 4, I am thinking that I need to be at that door from Mega, if I do not remember, so hopefully I don't screw this up. Yeah, we can 
out the plasma heater. Alright, so plasma's good. We shouldn't have to worry about that side. Should have been focused on the side more than the, uh, the rocket here. this time. And then repair up. I want to stay in repair. Thank you. There we go. Check over here. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Need to pay more attention to this one. They need to get repaired next round. Alright, so this is the last round. I don't remember where I need to watch out for Megas. Um, I think I start out over there, but we'll see. Hopefully this will not be a fail.
walls in between the waves that get away with building in that particular wave or anything. I notice that the flyers don't really seem to uh, damage the cores really at all. but mission complete. So, having a good turret set up over there and knowing where the Megas are going to spawn and when is key to getting through this mission. If you let those Megas get through and destroy any of your turret setups, then you're screwed and you might as well just restart the map. Um, they are uh, clutch in beating this. Uh, hopefully, uh, Let's, let's get out of here. Let's return to the showroom. Go see how, um, how many imaginary points I got. And what tech I unlocked. Because we have boss tech to unlock. Alright. Thirty-seven thousand mystery points. Cause my accuracy is crap. 130 credits and new tech. Let's see, we got Solon Tech Boss. Uh, quad oh, we got the quad chamber up first. 
So this one is the one where the boss can shoot four times before having to pump, which is much needed. All right. So grab his shotgun. Very nice. But we still need that reload because we're gonna burn through mags. It's a nice little indicator. Reload. All right. So that's a bit of tech that we got. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this look at Thunder Shock. Um, Please leave a, uh, a like and a subscribe for more content, and uh, let me know what you think. If you have a better strategy for getting through sh Thunder Shock, making it easier, um, I was hoping I could funnel them like in Vapor Exploit. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Uh, I'm not sure why they let you do it on one map and not the other. That's um, interesting. Um, I would hope that it would be more consistent in the future. Um, but yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.